There isn't really anything better on a, a, a warm day than a road trip. Taking the time to find these little roads, little stops, and enjoy your life. It doesn't have to be an A to B type of journey. The Crazy Oak Barn, it's actually a rare octagon barn. It was built originally in 1896, and we reconstructed it here. The garden is where my heart is. It's just sort of a little oasis. When you come into the barn, usually people go, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. We do a rustic, so we make everything from scratch. All of our soups, our bread, uh, tarts. When you're having your lunch made, the cook is making it right in front of you, so it's very intimate that way. And then outside, we uh, have our area here where we do picnics have some sparkling cider and a fresh picnic lunch. When you get your butter tart, make sure you get a napkin. There will be some lip licking and probably a little bit of finger licking. I think we're edging over 40,000 butter tarts. At the Crazy Oat Barn, I want you to come and I want you to have fun. Everything we do, whether we're weeding in the garden or making butter tarts or we're making bread, those are all things that we have touched by hand. I guess we hope that will touch your heart in the same way. Kent County is our home. We all grew up in Kent County together. There was a lot of younger people who left Chatham-Kent to explore. And eventually, I think this town somehow has a way of pulling at your heartstrings and, and brings you back. I'm grateful that I got to grow up here and also I'm grateful that I came back to build a brewery here with my friends. I'm the brewmaster here at Sons of Kent Brewing Company and I really enjoy making beer. A lot of the beers that we do here utilize local ingredients because we are from an agricultural based community here in southwestern Ontario. Uh, we try to use as much local ingredients as we can in all of the beers that we brew. That includes the hops and uh, the malted barley and the grains themselves. We have a, quite a, a wide array of different beers that we brew here. Whether you're a first time beer drinker or uh, you're aficionado as some people would call it, we, uh, we try to have something for everyone. Something that's really cool is this building that we're in was actually the old Cinema 6 and when I was a kid this was one of the coolest places to come and hang out and it, it's, it's really nostalgic for me and a lot of our patrons. A lot of the locals can come here and relive some of that nostalgia and make great new memories for many years to come. We're a boutique hotel. We're very art driven. We collect art from all over the world and have it all in one building, show it off as much as possible. We have overnight guests that stay with us. We have long term stay apartments where people live with us from anywhere for a month to five years. We definitely have intentions with every room. So they're very tastefully themed. Our log cabin suite, for example, the walls are actually created from the original beams that were from the building. Presidential is our largest suite. It has a large Swarovski crystal chandelier hanging from the ceiling, extended king-size bed. What you'll find around every corner of the Retro Suites Hotel uh, would be ever-changing. What you might see this week will be completely different from a week from now or a month from now. And I think that's a great representation of Chatham Kent and of the Retro Suites Hotel in Chilcork. Chilcork offers a large city experience in a small town, and everyone is welcome. So whether you're in at dinner for a casual uh, 
burger and fries, or you'd like a Canadian AAA steak. There is something for everyone. The focus is fresh ingredients, and so we partner with locals as best as possible. So whether it be Sons of Kent or a local farm, then we try to take advantage of that and infuse it into our menu. The Chill Cork is a great place to relax, enjoy the finer things of life, and really experience something unique in a small town. We had pigs in the barn on the same farm the brewery is now. I retired from that at 50 and it was time to find a hobby and that was the beer. Laura was in a band up the road and uh, stopped there to practice. Jim stopped here for us to make beer in the garage home brewing. It started just as a lot of fun. We just uh, started as home brewers. The turkey burner and a soup pot we started with and the, base, the most basic of tools. We were making more and more beer and trying it out on our friends and uh, most liked it and uh, a lot of them convinced us a few years later to uh, actually become a commercial brewery. The number one ingredient in beer is water and uh, our water comes from our well that is 105 feet in the ground, uh, hasn't seen the light of day for 10,000 years. I grow about 60 acres a year barley and uh, we use that for our beer. You have to be very dedicated to what you do if you want to be a brewer. You're always creating something and farmers are always creating something as well, whether it's in the field or in the barn or with some equipment, you're always creating something. People rather like it out there. We get a lot of city people who don't get much exposure to the farm anymore. Come to our farm and relax, to watch the sun go down, have a good time and have a few beers. Driving down the 401 is not going through Ontario Southwest. It's taking the time to find these little roads, little stops. There's so many pockets of beauty. Ontario Southwest to me is a place that is very diverse and grows just about every kind of food that's almost imaginable. It's all here. There's some really great things happening here in Chatham-Kent. Uh, we really grow the world. I think if you're coming into our area, you can expect a warm greeting and a clear mind when you leave. You get a chance to come through Ontario Southwest to see a lot of what brings our community together, which is great food, great beer, great wineries, and a lot of great experiences.